all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Back in July, I had released this really fun uh, project with poinsettias on or uh, ornament and these magnets. And someone in the comments said, could you do this on a round ball, a uh, Christmas ball? And I thought, yeah, it would be great. So I wanted to show you all how to go about translating a design um, from one type of surface to another. In this project, I will we'll be using the DecoArt Americana Gloss Enamels. And I'll be using them in uh, chocolate brown, true red, white, avocado, and glorious gold. I'll be using this 2.75 uh, inch glass ball. You could use plastic. And I'll be using this pencil tip eraser that I used in the original video. And I'll link that video uh, down below so you all can see it. My regular dotting tools. And we'll just go ahead and get started. So when you watch the original video, you'll see that I made this kind of tool for myself out of painter's tape just by folding it up so I'd have something to make uh, branches with. So I'm just using the chocolate uh, paint, the dark chocolate paint, and this little tape tool gives me a really thin line. And I'm kind of finding the center of this bulb and really, um, you don't have to be very precise. You're just trying to get, this is a branch, first of all. So it's, you know, it's got a lot of curves and a lot of, um, you know, different um, lines to it, different textures. So I'm just generally finding the center. And then I'm using the tool to put my branches on. And I'm just putting them randomly um, in various places, sort of above and below the line. And you can see that this little painter's tape tool is a nice way to get kind of thin branches. Now you could use um, one of like a nail stylus or even a toothpick or something like that uh, if you wanted to, to to make your branches. But I like this particular technique. It gives me nice uh, fine branches and then sometimes they have a little bit of um, you know differences in the thickness and the thinness of the branch. So I really enjoy that look. Um, again, I'm just putting them on randomly and then adding my little branches. This is very free form. I think it's really fun to see how you can translate a design that might be on a flat surface to a curved surface. It's really fun to be able to use your patterns in different ways. Okay, so I think I have all the branches that I'm going to put on. I got a little boo-boo there. It's real easy on the glass to just wipe it up like you would on any other surface with a Q-tip. So I'll just kind of take that off, a damp cotton swab, and take that off and just kind of look and see if I want to add anything else. I feel like I want to add a little bit more to this particular section of the bulb. And that's a good view of how you can get the different thickness and thicknesses of your branches. All right, now I'm going to use my pencil eraser. Now, if you want to follow along, there was a practice session in the original video. And so you might want to take a look at that. But I'm using the pencil eraser to make my poinsettia. And I'm just putting down five of these little petals. And again, I'm randomly placing this some above and some below the line. Sometimes it's on top of the branch and sometimes it's not. So don't worry about that. Now my paint hasn't dried, so um, you don't have to let each step dry in between. And I'm just gonna place these wherever I think it might look nice. I think I put maybe about six of these on. Uh, you could do more or less, but we're gonna fill in with some other elements. So. What I do is I would put a few on and see how they look and then put the rest of the elements on and see if you want to add anything in to make it a little bit fuller design. I love this little pencil eraser tool. It's really fantastic. Okay. I'll do one more here. Okay, that's how we're looking so far. 
Now I'm going to take that same painter's tape and just cut a smaller piece off because now I'm going to do the pine needles. Um, in my original video, I think I used a dotting tool. You can use a dotting tool if you want to sort of drag up and swish some pine needles on. I'm just going to use this because I, I actually like the way this looks. And you can see that I'm just using it kind of how I would with one of my nail dotters to walk the dots. I'm just kind of walking these pine needles, randomly placing them. You know, they're not, they're sometimes they overlap. How you would just how you would find in nature. There's no, you know, real, um, uh, you know, exact pattern. They're all just a little bit different. So I'll just keep adding these. I've sped this up so you can see that I'll just add as many of these little pine needles as I like. This um, particular pattern, I'm using a clear ball, but this would look great uh, on a black ball. It would look great on another color if you wanted to use like a, you know, a champagne or even white or something like that would be really, really pretty. These, this is, if you made a set of these, this would be such a great Christmas gift. I think this would be really pretty. Or even if you just want to kind of put some holiday decorations out for winter. I think the pine needles are really looking great on this bulb. I'm just finishing up the last little bit of that. Now I'm going to use the same green and just put some little dots in the center of my poinsettia. As you could use a gold. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of gold later, but you could use a gold here. You could use white. Now I'm going to make some of my pine cones. And again, refer back to the original video um, for the practice session on how I made these pine cones. But I'm using the pencil eraser to just get the basic shape and placement of the pine cones. And then I'm using a little bit of white and the brown and swooshing, making little swooshes to simulate a pine cone. A little pine cone with a little bit of maybe snow on it. So pretty. If any of you do craft shows, I think this would be a great little um, ornament to have um, on your table. I think this would be really pretty. Okay, so I've made one. I'm going to just randomly place them. Again, um, I've kind of cut a little of the repetitive steps out, but I've randomly placed them. Sometimes I've placed one, sometimes I've placed them in threes, uh, but just generally, um, kind of spread them out around the around the ball. Okay, this is how this is looking so far. Let's take a little look at this. Not pretty. I like the way it's turning out. Now what I'm going to do is um, use my nail dotter and a little bit of the red and I'm just going to place some berries in little sets of three or one, however you want, just to fill in a little space and add another color. I like placing them right on top of the pine needles. That's really pretty. Okay, now what I'm going to do is in the original design there was a little um, outside border of red and gold dots and so I'm going to simulate that a little bit at the top and uh, I'm using my G6 four millimeter and placing some dots of red. You see that I'm leaving space in between because I want to go back in with the gold. You could fill this in if you wanted to Here's the gold. I'm going to just uh, use the um, 
pointed end of this crochet hook, which I think we all forget about, but that makes a nice dotting tool and you can get some different size dots there. And you can walk the dots with these. These are really, really versatile. All right, so I'm just placing a little bit of gold in between the red dots. I didn't do any measuring at all on this one. I just kind of winged it. Now I'm using the gold and a nail dotter and I'm going to fill in with some dots to kind of simulate snow or um, stars. And I'm just uh, placing them sometimes in three like I did with the berries or sometimes one. I'm just filling in a little bit of space just randomly around the top. You could also do the bottom if you wanted, but I just um, left mine at the top part of the ornaments. And now I'm going in with a little bit of white and doing the same kind of thing, just randomly placing dots. Now one thing that I do want to mention is um, you might want to let yours dry in between certain steps. And here it is. This is the finished piece. And here was my original ornament, and here's the finished bulb. And I think that it's a really good translation, and I thought it looked really, really cute. Let's just go in and take a little bit closer look. I know the lights are on that, um, on that bulb, but I think you can get a good sense of, of it. And I think it's just really, really pretty on the ornament. This is a really fun, fun one. I would love hanging this one up on the tree. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this project. I just wanted to uh, show you how to translate um, a pattern from one type of surface to another. And I want to thank uh, my um, subscriber who um, asked for that. I really enjoyed doing this and I hope you love this project. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I so appreciate hearing from you. Thanks so much for joining me in my studio. Take care.